enjoy the short play regarding the little red riding hood tells a young girl who comes across a cunning wolf on the way to her grandmother's home the story is narrated by Charles Perrault now i would like you all to relax and enjoy the play once upon a time there was a girl who was called the little red dragon girl because of the red cape she always wore she lived with her mother and father in a cottage in the forest one day her mother told her that the grandmother was feeling unwell i will bring my grandmother some cakes to help her feel better my mother and father have always told me not to talk to strangers or make stop on the way to grandmother's house so i have to be careful little red dragon hood started the walk to the woods to her grandmother's house a little ways into the woods a big bad wolf crept up behind her hello little girl where are you going i'm taking this cake and these flowers to my grandmother how kind of you your grandmother would be happy where does your grandmother live she lives in a cottage right next to a big tree over the hill but my mother told me not to talk to strangers so i have to go of course but if i may make a suggestion don't you think your grandmother would like some of these beautiful wild flowers oh you are right i will pick some for her thank you for the idea goodbye little girl goodbye mr wolf while little red red and cool picked the flowers the wolf set his big plan into motion while she is distracted with her flowers i will get to her grandmother's house before the girl arrives i will eat her grandmother and then i will lead the little girl so the wolf took a shortcut to her grandmother's house and knocked on the door hello grandmother it's me little red riding hood may i come in that's not little red riding hood i should hide somewhere the grandmother quickly hid in the cupboard the wolf opened the cottage door and went inside there is no one here i will get to the bed and wait for the little girl oh the wolf The wolf jumped into the grandmother's bed and put on a nightgown and a cap. Soon, the little red riding hood knocked on the cottage door. Hello, grandmother. It's me, little red riding hood. May I come in? Come in, my dear. Where are you, grandmother? I am in the bed, dear. My what big ears you have, grandmother? All the better to hear you with. My what big eyes you have, grandmother? All the better to see you with. My what big teeth you have, grandmother? All the better to eat you with. The wolf jumped out of the grandmother's bed and went straight for little red riding hood. help please don't eat me i am going to eat you little girl yes sir a woodcutter get past the cottage and heard the screaming ah help me oh my a wolf the woodcutter ran inside and chopped off the wolf's head you're safe now little girl thank you for saving me Grandmother, grandmother, where are you? I'm in the cupboard, my dear. Are well, you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Thank you for saving me, granddaughter, sir. It was no problem. I'm glad you both are okay. I will never talk to strangers in the forest again. Thank, Thank you. you.